hello. Wait, is this thing on? Oh, all right. Well, hello, everybody. My name's Grog. I'm part of Sword Art Online, ever a missing role player found. Grog? But it, yeah, it's nice now. How's it going? What are you doing? I'm doing the promotion. But I'm supposed to do the promotion. But I'm the master of toasts. Grog, Speaking no, no. of which, the toast's done. Grog, it's not literal toast. What do you mean? Then what is it then? Here, let me show you. Hi guys, Snow here with Missing Role Player Found. Check out our actual play podcast on your favorite listening app, such as iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. And check us out on our website at missingroleplayerfound.com. Oh, so that's what it is. All right, I think I got it now. Look, let me do the next promotion now. All right, fine. Yeah. Welcome back to Merely Role Players, where theatrical people play role playing games. Uh, it's time for the get out, uh, where we're gonna wash up after upstage. <laughs> <laughs> In free time. And, <laughs> yeah, I lasted. I managed yeah. to did, say it did. that way did. every time. I'm interested because we either failed miserably or fully succeeded <laughs> with the. Uh, shows mostly failing miserably, but what was the mixed success? Oh, for the getting for judged. Getting judged, yeah. Uh, mixed success is you go through, but you're you aren't the winner of that round. Like you get a buy or you place, mm -hmm. so you're going through, but you're starting from behind, okay. which doesn't have an immediate specific outcome right but is something that i could potentially use in like the outcomes of fails and things like that okay so right. maybe i hadn't really fully thought that one through cool so odds were you're going odds through, were good that but... you're going through and <laughs> yet yeah. <laughs> yeah ellen this was yeah. your first one uh -huh. how, how was it amazing um i'm knackered <laughs> 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 like, yeah. it's so tiring yeah um, and, and kind of like it's very exciting but also stressful like mm. really care yeah um, <laughs> But um, I was going to ask what the um, the other options of um, categories or, or things that the performances had to be. Like we had oh, yeah, authentic the period and mm. mobile. Okay, so uh, the ones that didn't get used were updating the bard. <laughs> <laughs> because we all love a bit of modern dress Shakespeare. Oh, <laughs> Fabian would have hated that. Mm -hmm. um, Star maker which is you would have had to find an unknown to be your leading performer, mm -hmm. like someone off the street, okay. mm -hmm. which could have worked quite well. If we if that one had come up, you, that could have been an opportunity to make Derek your yeah. star. <laughs> yeah. uh, multimedia. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. kind of did multimedia. We anyway. did, yeah. yeah. Did. What else did we use? Uh, solo, so a single performer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And protest. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. Hmm. Could have been some weird combinations. I basically sat down and tried to come up with what are all of the things that are a little bit annoying in theatre? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that verbatim wasn't in there. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of that one. Mm. And we did kind of did a bit of that as well in Brighton. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And a bit of yeah, a bit of multimedia, a bit of <laughs> quite a few of the ones. We didn't update the bard. No. No. But obviously site specific we covered before it even came up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, would would you would any of you do any of these productions in real life? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of loved the Brighton Pier one before it went horribly wrong. Yes, yeah. I think I, I think I would have ended it differently. Yeah, yeah. maybe not a fake fire, but uh... with everyone eating ice creams. Yeah, yeah. but I liked yeah. the elements of a lot of them. Mm. Yeah, but but I would not do any one of single of those productions as they were. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They were very silly. <laughs> <laughs> Too silly. <laughs> Something about it being in a televised competition format that mm. lends mm. itself to not being very subtle in yeah. performances. Yeah. Yeah, we were really like hard hitting, nose on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> we had a message and we were going to tell it. Oh, yeah. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it was for the kids. <laughs> Somebody, somebody think of the children <laughs> yes you all yes we were hard 
exciting and yet wafty. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. wafty. We did, I think, we, I think we did quite well playing to the very different tastes of the judges in our shows. I think yeah. that's why they ended up so weird as well. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because they weren't very cohesive. <laughs> <laughs> I loved the judges. I really oh, liked all of the judging bits. Were they were they fun or was it? Yes. Yeah. Was, yeah, it, was it difficult switching like on short notice from character to character? No, not really. No, no. no, no. It and it was the first time we've done that playing. You getting us to play people or like adversaries almost in terms of the judges, people we've got to impress and that could mm. not like us. And that was that was cool. That was that was different. Yeah, like yeah we actually did a, a little bit of that just in the course of the game as well. We had people mm. picking up yeah. non-player characters mm. as well. Yes, which, yeah. which means you don't need to talk to yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I nearly gave Jules uh, a foil, like made it two hosts like strictly. Oh, right. Mm. And then I realised that that <laughs> meant I would have to yes. dialogue with myself yes. and that was no good. Yeah. So I was just like, I'll it just make them hilarious. the foil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it worked really nicely. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was fun doing stupid voices. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a good opportunity. Was there anything? So in the next game that the audience is going to hear, <laughs> and other other games, there's been um, stuff that's kind of come out through the play that the, the DM hasn't necessarily accounted for that's kind of changed. This, to me, felt very much like there was a clear structure. There was the first round, the regionals and the nationals. Was there anything we did that threw your plan in any way? I don't think so. I think you're mm. right that the, the this type of story lends itself to a particular structure, and the only way I feel like it could have been completely broken open is if you got knocked out and you sort of decided to like that the competition was the problem. I thought that was a possibility right. mm-hmm. that you would like almost run like a competition fringe or go underground and uh, like subvert it in some way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought that was a, a, a kind of a possibility, but no, because it's in rounds and and because I'd sort of tested it in my mind beforehand. Does it matter if they get knocked out in the first round? Nah, there'll always <laughs> be a way they can buy back in or somebody else gets disqualified or whatever. Mm. So. No, I, I think you're probably right. There's not not quite so many like big plot diverting surprises mm-hmm. this time. Just the content of the shows, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that presumably were not exactly what one might have imagined. <laughs> I had no idea how those were going to turn out. <laughs> <laughs> Did we? Yeah. I quite liked the uh, mechanism of having us tell it a bit at a time. Mm-hmm. So we'd sort of agreed and overall, well, this is the sort of thing we're going to try to do. But then having each of us describe a part of the show was almost like um, that game where you fold up a piece of, piece of paper, mm-hmm. consequences. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. It felt like that. Because I was, I was, the, the control freak in me was a bit like, oh God, well, I'm going to say this first bit, but then what if Strat just takes it off in a really weird direction? Or what if the person before me has set it up to be something different than what we talked about earlier? Then what am I going to do? <laughs> I felt like we were, during those moments, like looking at each other really wild eyed, just waiting for the moment it was going to be passed to us. Like, yeah. uh, what am I going to be given? What am I going to be given? Please roll well so it's not a disaster I have to deal with. Yeah. And also when I was talking through the bits that I was doing, I was looking at each of you like, this okay? Yeah, this okay? Really this is what we do? This is what we do? <laughs> yeah, that worked really nicely. I definitely would have, if we if we were to play this for longer, I would have loved more direct scenes with your rivals. Because mm-hmm. I, I really liked how all of those different rival companies turned out. And then uh, it was only really a <laughs> mind colon blow. <laughs> That we had a lot of direct interaction with in the in the setup yeah. phase. Um, so yeah, it would have been kind of interesting to see more of that. But like the prep created dr- enough drama on its own, and they were always there as a if you'd had the right kind of failure or mixed success, then they could have come in in some way. But mm. Mm. I think with that, I, I don't know everyone else, but I was more inclined to do things with mind colon blown, partly so I could say the word mind colon blown, <laughs> but mostly because they were bad mm-hmm. and yeah. so you wanted to do something with it but the nice ones you're like well I don't yeah. I've got I yeah. want to win but I don't I'm not gonna I was it didn't feel like we were the sort of team that were gonna sabotage our way <laughs> to the top which I guess could have been a thing maybe but. if it was a, a longer game we would have felt more free freedom to do that I guess in a way because we didn't really do much with perchance to dream mm. but I think we were all conscious a little bit of the time yeah. and as well. So it was a bit of meta going on there. Yeah, a little bit. We've kind of built them up to be really great <laughs> yeah. in every yeah. possible way. And 
I kind of didn't realize when I was saying like you know and they have people from all parts of the community <laughs> as only when I finished speaking that I was like oh no what have I done yeah <laughs> Made I them really like, good. like what happens if it comes down to some kind of fight situation am I going to have to have a horrible anecdote about how I push a man in a wheelchair over and then kick a kid in the face and push an old lady over like it, it no. wasn't going to go well for us if that was the case no yeah <laughs> like, I, they're I, nicer than us they're better than us I guess in the way the that's and this isn't your fault it's possibly mine for setting them up to be a nice company but the stakes were not high enough for us to be nasty yeah but we've done nasty already yeah Yeah. and what we got from the second lot the the the, what's it ragamuffins Ragamuffins, was like that wonderful relationship between Ellen and Kathy which was just wonderful (laughs) (laughs) that was really really good Yeah. yeah 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 you had not all rivals have to be enemies mm. mm-hmm. you had one company that were definitely enemies yeah. and the rest were just like you were in competition mm. Mm. I guess it's longer games that, that kind of like strong friendly relationship mm. or could like they come and ask you a fit and how do you refuse this person mm. yeah. that you're absolutely besotted with or whatever <laughs> and that's gonna yeah maybe cause yeah. you to not worry so much about winning mm. or mm-hmm. yeah they split your focus so yeah. yeah yeah there's a lot of possibilities I guess yeah the rules were a bit different this time, uh, and uh, one one f- outcome of that is that we all forgot a rule, yeah. <laughs> and so lots of people were building up support, and then none of it ever got spent until we sort of used it narratively in that big finale. Mm. But yeah, there were some roles that could have gone quite differently if support had come into it. So what was it that we could have done? We could have changed... You could have changed... A failure into a mixed success yeah. or a mixed success into a success. <laughs> so there were some Oops. failures, especially from Ellen and Strat, who had support in hand, mm. that could have not been failures yeah. if we'd all remembered the rules. I, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm, I take responsibility for this as well. well. I quite like, though, that it ends up being the thing, it ended mm-hmm. up being the thing at the end. Like they are end game items because it's stuff you've collected throughout mm. and then it doesn't. There are a few times where if I'd remembered that, I would have just said, no, I succeed. (laughs) But I kind of can't think of a single failure that I rolled that I actually would want to (laughs) succeed. Now I know Mm, how it all panned out. Would we have lost... But say, like, we got a fail and we wanted to make it a mixed success, would we have to actually lose one of those people? Yeah, so... It wouldn't be necessary that, like, they're not your friend anymore. Okay. But, like, you don't have them as a resource to spend Okay, anymore. right, yeah, sure. Like, they've, they've kind of, they've done a useful, they've done a favour for mm. you. Um, and then you could always persuade them again, you, you mm-hmm. know, mm. if it's that sort of person. Oh, well. How did you think the motivation thing, work? did that work the way you were expecting it to? I thought that there might be more attempts to like get everybody with the same one like once especially when we had at, right at the beginning we had quite a lot of low roles mm. i thought that one possibility was that you would like you would get a strategy of like okay we need to do better than all of this so let's try and all persuade each other to be on the same side so we're getting bigger boosts mm. to all mm-hmm. of everything that we're rolling but i i liked the scenes that we got of persuasion and i don't think it's a bad thing that uh, that not everybody changed during the uh, thing. Yep, mm. I was having none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just about the artistry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James, for bringing you <laughs> as a, a weapon in an arsenal to convince your daughter to do something. <laughs> I think it was really lovely how everyone played their motivations so strongly. I really enjoyed particularly Nat's company <laughs> yeah, and totally. Ellen's joy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Nope. No, that's, that's it's a great system. Yeah, it works really, really, really well. It felt um, felt a lot more wholesome yeah. than other yeah. series. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going for. <laughs> well, thank you all. Thank thanks you. For, thanks for playing as always. Thanks, uh, Matt. Yeah, thank you, Matt. And that's curtain. Hooray! Bravo! Stay. Uncle. Stay.
been listening to Merely Role Players with Ellie, Nat, Ellen, and Strat as themselves, sort of, playing a game designed and run by Matt using the Powered by the Apocalypse engine. If you enjoy the program, let us know with a review or rating on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, Listen Notes, or wherever you do your listening. You can also find us on Twitter at Merely Roleplay and at facebook.com slash Merely Roleplayers. Merely Roleplayers is an independent production in association with Blackshaw Theatre Company. Join us for more drama next episode.